Hello, hello guys. Good evening and uh, we are back para sa ating Betboom Dacha online stage. And this time, elimination match tayo mga bossing. We'll be, uh, we'll be having alliance up against uh, Luna Galaxy. So, lower bracket to ng uh, Group A sa pagkakalam ko. So, tigan natin ko sino yung unang may eliminate for the online stages. Alliance. Ay, hindi. Na-eliminate na pala ng Alliance yung isang team. So, ano na pala to? Elimination match, yes. Pero kung sino manalo dito, magka-qualify na sa playoffs ng online stage natin. Yun pala yan. So, Luna Galaxy, they have Keeper of the Light, Twin Ranger, Phoenix, and then Medusa. Alliance naman will be having Dark Willow, Storm, Io, Jotacopter, But do you have this new patch already? And I think marami pa namang bugs, such as for the Midas na nag stack Feeling ko wala namang gagawanan. I think uh, in-indicate naman na siguro sa rules yun for this tournament. So, tignan na lang natin kung uh, magkakaraba tayo na mga something uh, new for this uh, game. I mean, halos same hero pa rin naman na natin. For the Gyrocopter, I think I love the idea of having... His Ags, an extra Gunslinger kapag uh, naka-activate yung Black Cannon. Malaking bagay na rin yun. Though for Luna Galaxy, parang same thing pa rin namin na natin. For Phoenix Sunray, na meron nga evasion, ayun yung isa sa pinago sa kanya. For Keeper the Light, I think wala naman masyadong uh, uh, magandang uh, changes. Siguro yung pang sarili lang niya sa Chakra, yun lang napapansin ko. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. turn to pick. Max. Your hero. Make the ultimate choice. So, Centaur, I think maganda yung changes for the uh, Hoop Stomp. For Axe naman, I don't know. I mean, maganda ba yung changes for Axe? Uh, di ko masyado napansin. Mm -hmm. Interesting uh, draft for both sides. At least nakakita tayo ng mga new heroes, di ba? Hindi yung pa ulit-ulit na lang yung mga nakikita natin uh, para sa mga games, sa mga tournaments. Well, tignan natin kung uh, sino yung magkakaroon ng advantage dito. First series na makakover natin for our latest uh, patch. Yung new patch natin, 7.34. Tama ba? Saan na po naglalaro si Ami? Walang team si Ami ngayon, fortunately. The time for preparation is short. Use it wisely. And, uh, yun. Kala ko di gagalaw yung camera man natin. Eh. Soul Ring, kahit pa paano, maganda naman na yung, uh, nangyari, di ba? I mean, bumaba yung cost. So, mas lalo magiging uh, okay yung soldering ngayon. Grabe kasi ni nerf before sa soldering. Sobrang mahal. Binago ba kay Axe? Wala naman binago kay Axe eh. 
Wala lang, naisip lang nilang maganda yung axe sa game na to. One thing for sure, hindi siya BKB game for Alliance. Maybe Lincolns. And then, uh, SNY, yan, status resistance. Sobrang hirap ng BKB sa game na to. Kasi lahat ng mga disable, halos lahat ng disable ng, ano ba team to ulit? Luna Galaxy, yan. Nagpe-pierce through debuff immunity. So, Dark Willow, ito yung in-expect kong magiging popular for this uh, new patch. Ganda nung ginawa sa kanyang ultimate na pwede mong ibigay sa teammates niya, yung uh, Bedlam. So, yung combo nila dito, pwedeng sa Storm, di ba? Talagyan ng Bedlam yung Storm, tatalon dun sa opponent. No, no, no. Hindi pa naman TA qualifiers. Update sa mga heroes. Ako, dami, boss, eh. Ito kay Keeper, parang in-adjust-adjust lang naman yung mga skill niya. May sa chakran talaga, wala. Yung kay Keeper of the Light. Si Centaur yung maganda, yung uh, hoop stamp kahit pa paano. In-improve. Parang nakapag hoop stamp siya habang nagalakad, ganun. Double edge, so that's in damage. Stampede axe upgrade, kat pano? Um, binigyan ng panibagong skill. Yung eto yung workhorse. Parang may sarili siyang extra stampede. Yun lang naman yun. Homing missile over to the Yaks. Wala pa naman tayong uh, rocket barrage for Jarocopter. So wala naman magiging problem for the Yaks itself. Kemedu, parang nanerf lang naman siya ng onte. Actually, seven point tara tiri pang ate. Wala naman siya dyan ng yara kemedu. Yung stats lang, yung mga growth growth kanan. Ay yung binago ko yun. Binabahan ng onte. Ano tayo naman to? A bed bomb dacha. O, the online stage pa lang tayo ng Betmoom na Dacia. Pag ito sa main event, yan, kasama yung mga tier 1 teams like Gaming Gladiators, Betboom, uh, Nine Pandas, usually sa mga Western Europe, yung kasali dito, tsaka Eastern Europe. Meron din Team Master, so, isa rin sila sa invited na team. Well, top lane, they do found the Axe, Rocket Brudge, a couple of right clicks, and that's gonna be Handskin. Getting the first blood. Stupendous. First blood secured. Top lane. Maya, masyado na malabo na mamamatay dito agad yung uh, Dark Rilo. Meron naman na siyang Shadow Realm. For S4. Just trying to get that Vanguard. Oh, 
Axe, Berserker Skull committed. Now Rocket Barrage for the Gyrocopter and that's too much damage for the Axe. He's dead. The only core running away, but continues pa rin naman sila dito. I think the movement speed is uh, enough. Masyado nga lang malayo if ever hahabuli uh, pa nila yung uh, Keeper. Madaming masasayang na XP for the Gyrocopter. So, balik na lang muna sa lane. At least nakuha naman nila yung uh, core position, which is yung Axe. Okay na yun. And wala nga siyang TP pabalik. Kakamatay lang niya kanina. So, mas lalo mo redelay yung Axe dito. Mas lalo siya may hirapan to lane up against these two heroes. Nag Jaran Eh, nabuff yung Gyrocopter eh Sa Aghanims niya Pinaganda yung Ags ng uh, Gyrocopter Ayan na, to targets Yung uh, side gunner niya Kapag meron siyang Ags upgrade Kapag inactivate niya yung Flak Cannon Sa duration lang naman ng Flak Cannon yun Then, meron tayong panibagong uh, stats ngayon. Status. Sorry. Um, slow resistance. Yun. Yung panibago nating status ngayon. From the word itself, para sa slow. <laughs> so, hindi na siya pasok sa status resistance. Yung mga slow na mga hero. Sa slow resistance, siya magka-fall off. Yun. Yung status resistance... Doon na talaga siya sa mga disable ata sa pagkakalam ko. New team yung kalaban ng Alliance? Uh, I think so. Ngayon ko lang din naman sila nakita. Siguro mga Div 2 team to sa uh, Western Europe or Eastern Europe. Mga ganun. Berserker Skull committed and for Hanskin hindi naman niya nakuha yung Wisdom run dahil sa Berserker Skull at least hindi naman siya namatay so makapag uh, disengage pa rin naman dito yung Ayo together with the Gyrocopter and we'll be continuing to build up the pressure Deep is coming in that's gonna be the Wind Ranger they might be able to finish off that pesky Keeper of the Light focus fire over to Charlie can they even kill him? I mean, Ayo giving him the sustain needed. Mayro pa siyang uh, healing lotus, so parang malabo mapatay ng Wind Ranger tong Gyrocopter. Pwede nga siyang labanan ng rocket barrage. Siguro change target na lang muna for the Wind Ranger. Try to kill the Ayo instead. I think much better idea yun para sa Wind Ranger. Dapat siya masyadong damage din. Isa na sa pinaka-noticeable changes Parang andali ng counter rin ng mga illusions Kasi sobrang daming items, spell Yung pinataas yung damage up against illusions Like yung mga Maelstrom yan Yung Chain Lightning Sobrang pinataas yung damage yung up against illusions Radiance, Shiva's Guard So parang hindi na ganun kasulat yung mga illusions ng mga heroes and now top lane, that's gonna be over to the Medusa. Well, they have this Phoenix to join the fight. Sunray to make sure he won't die. As for Dito getting burned down, disengage them muna for Alliance. Once I'm at level six, yung Dark Willow magi start na Dito yung uh, Alliance. Ang laking bagay nung uh, Beldam, I Beldam para sa Storm Spirit. Kasi pede niya ng ikabit yung Beldam sa teammate niya. Pede niya itutok sa teammate niya yung Beldam. And then tatalo na yung Storm, di ba? Meron siyang libre Beldam. Grabbing damage na agad yun. Isa sa possible na bumalik din na hero is si Spectre. Nagkapalit na. Yung AGS upgrade na ni Spectre yung Hunt. And yung ultimate niya na ngayon is yung Shadow Step. So parang mas magiging active na yung Spectre 
And every time na nag reality siya, dun na nagkakaroon ng... Uh, ng, ang tawag ganun, yung Spectral Dagger. Yun. Diba dati kaya pag Shinado step niya, instant na merong Spectral Dagger agad. Pero ngayon, sa reality. Although may cooldown na yung reality, 3 seconds. So, hindi na siya pwede magkabalik-balik agad. 3 seconds yung uh, cooldown nun. Pero, ang laking bagay na rin yun, ah. Like, magkakaroon ka agad ng Shadow Step, di ba? Then, sabihin mong meron kang Dark Willow, uh, Dark Willow din na kasama. Pwede kang lagyan ng Bedlam and then mag Shadow Step ka papunta sa kalaban. Laki tulong. Bedlam ata, hindi ko alam. Bedlam. Eh, ewan ko. Bed, bedlam ata. Sorry. Ah, bedlam pala. Bedlam. Eh, nalilito rin ako dyan. Pasensya na. <laughs> Bad lang. Oops, stomp. Okay, tumama naman. And, uh, double edge level 1. So, 1-1-3. 1-1-4 pala, sorry. Yung naging skill build dito para kay S4. So, tinay niya lang talaga siguro i-address yung uh, Medusa para sa kanyang reactive or, uh, I mean, uh, retaliate. Pero parang hirap. Parang mas gusto ko yung naka-max out. It's either yung stun or yung double edge. So yung passive tuloy na nangyari. Ang hirap nila makakuha ng kill doon sa top lane. Supposedly, dapat malakas yung uh, hero sila. Pero over the mid lane, that's gonna be the Keeper of the Light Dead. Not worth tied dito. Top 3 pa rin naman is on the side of Alliance. So maganda pa rin naman yung nakukuha nilang start dito. And ito na nga, Gyrocopter. Uh, straight into Aghanim Scepter. Storm jumps in forward and uh, will be able to catch the Wind Ranger. Wind done immediately and Chakram provided, but there goes the uh, Curse Crown to stun him up. Takes out the Wind Ranger in time. 6 0 yung score natin ngayon, and that's 4k lead for Alliance. Crimson Guard is completed para sa ating Centaur. Storm jumps in. For the next target, that's gonna be Yax. Yax dead. Manami naman kahit pa paanong uh, pin-off na hero. At least si Shadow Shaman. Hindi naman siya yung sobrang noticeable. Pero ang laking bagay ng Hex ng Shadow Shaman na merong 20% increased damage sa i-Hex niyang uh, hero. So may amplification kang 20%, di ba? Habang naka-Hex. I mean, ang ganda niyang pang burst, if ever man. Magkaroon ka lang ng magandang follow-up pagka-hex mo, di ba? Hex tapos Mystic Flare na may Ancient Seal, di ba? Grabe damage. Tinvoker yung medyo weird na nangyari ngayon kasi parang... Ang hirap na niya sa lane. Naging universal hero na si Invoker kaso nawala na kasi yung pinaka magandang pang lane ni Invoker yung Quas yung pang region niya tinanggal na yung regeneration sa Quas tinanggal na yung uh, damage sa Exhort tinanggal na yung attack speed movement speed sa Wex pinaritan eh for Quas naging spell life still which is weird for me Wex naman dito naging cooldown and then Exhort naging amplification spell amp Sa so, tagang skill kung skill na lang si Invoker. Parang ganun yung nangyari. Sobrang complicated pa niya. Na kung ano yung orb na nakaset up sa'yo nung binato mo yung skill, yun lang yung mag-activate kung ilang ba yung spell amp mong makukuha. Ganun, cooldown. Kung magkakaroon na spell life still. Mahina siya sa teamfight, si Spec ngayon. Pero yung gusto natin mangyari kay Spec kasi diba, yung maaga siya mag enable Maaga siyang pwedeng nga jumoin sa mga pick-off. At least hindi ganun katagal yung downtime. Pinaka-biggest problem ni Specter sa hunt dati or sa previous uh, Specter. Yung hunt niya kasi sobrang tagal ng cooldown. Kaya talaga nagiging first item is yung Aghanim Scepter. Para mas mabilis yung uh, cooldown.
So at least na kajun yung agad siya sa mga teamfights. Tignan natin, I mean, kung mas pangit ba yung nangyari or mas okay para sa spec. May libre agad siyang pang ano eh. Parang pang double spectral dagger. Pag nag-reality siya, spectral dagger agad matik. Sa pick-up lang siya mag-excel ngayon pagdating sa early. What a smoke play for the side of... Ano bang ito? Ulit yung team na ito? Nalimutan ko na naman yung team. Doon na galaxy yun. Tier 1 bottom tower dito makukuha naman ng Storm Spirit. Mas Q1 pala yung mid ng... ay yung Storm ng Alliance. Okay. Hindi ko na napansin. Homing Missile over to the Wind Ranger. Medyo malayo nga lang thanks to the Wind Run. Hindi naman magkocontinue dito. Hindi naman siya magkocommit ng Stampede. So, continues pa rin naman yung Alliance in dominating this game. 7-0, 7k lead, 15 minutes in. A good start for them. Then, a Diffusal Bleed para sa next item choice ng Gyrocopter. Manta Style finally available for the Medusa. Pero, magkakaroon na siya ng problem dito dahil magkakaroon na ng Mana Burn yung Gyro. Shoutout nga pala kay Vincent Yap. Ayan, kay Mark Jason Malinag. Shoutout po sa inyo. Storm jumps on the bottom lane. And there goes the Terrorized. Nice hoop stomp to connect over to the Axe. And down he goes. Sixteen minutes, eight k lead. Oh, ito rin yung isang medyo naging okay. Yung bail. Medyo binago siya ngayon. Well, Storm gonna jump in. We'll be able to take out the Keeper of the Light. So that's it. Another kill secured. Like, meron na siyang 200 damage sa mga buyer. Since nauso yung mga barrier-barrier natin. Like, Pavis, Glimmering Cape. So parang siya yung magiging counter up against those items. Then ando pa rin naman yung spell amplification. Ay yung increased damage pala ng spell. Ayan, yung 18%. Pero at least mayroon siyang 200 damage sa mga barriers. Then I'm seeing a hand of Midas for the Dark Willow. Spirit Vessel, nagkaroon din ng changes para sa component. Medyo naging stats na yung... Spirit Vessel ngayon. So, I think okay siya sa mga support na Universal. Storm. We'll be continuing to hunt his target and that's gonna be the Keeper. Keeper dead. G1 grabs another kill. Killing spin now for the Storm Spirit. Phoenix goes down on the bot lane. So, that's 11-0. 10k lead for Alliance. Ayan, mabilis na mababurn out lang yung mana na itong Medusa. And uh, quick Roshan for Alliance. Age is secured. For the Gyrocopter, 18 minutes in. Tamang bedlam, bedlam na naman. So, Keeper of the Light is going for Vessel. Lots of first stone available. Para sa Phoenix. 
Satanic will be the next item choice for Charlie. So, talagang sustain na agad yung hahanapin niya dito. I'm expecting MKB or Butterfly. Pero, unahin niya na agad yung uh, lifesteal. Okay din naman yan. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is no more. So, Skadi for the next item choice ng Medu. Gusto niya agad niyang i-address yung sustain na meron dito yung alliance sa IO there. Eh? I mean, sa IO Garo Comfort. So, speaking of Medu, sobrang bliss lang. He's dead. Now, for the Owen Ranger, he needs to be careful, but he's free hitting from the high ground. Q1 dito might be the one to fall instead. And that's gonna be the first kill secured. For the Luna Galaxy squad, but they've lost three afterwards. S4 running away, doesn't have this Crimson Guard anymore. There goes the Shackle with a power shot, gonna be enough to kill him. The Terrorize go next with a Bramble Maze, a beautiful one, taking out five right now for Luna Galaxy. A full wipe secured. An exchange of two. A big win still for Alliance. Ganda na pagkaka-bramble maze dun. Wala eh. Wala pa kasing evasion yung Medusa. So, talagang ang bliss mauubos lalo ng mana nito. May binago nga rin pala kay Io sa shard upgrade niya. Hindi na siya spell amplification. I think damage na siya. Ah, tinanggal lang talaga yung uh, bonus spell amp. Yung lang pala. Spell lives din lang pala. Pero, maroon na siyang slow resistance. Biggie B available now for the Wind Ranger. Sirbe maganda magin target na dito. Dyer's top tower is under attack. For the Storm Spirit, wala pa rin naman siyang Biggie B. And dinin naman ganong kaganda rin yung Biggie B para sa Alliance. Side of Vice, yung magiging next item choice for the Storm. And Pipe para sa Centaur. Good sa mento. Alin na, meron pa rin namang Phoenix, di ba? Meron pa rin namang Keeper of the Light. So, malaking bagay pa rin naman yung Magic Resistance. Now, Storm gonna do jump in over the Axe. Grabbing damage. Yep, mamatay naman leading Axe. And uh, what will be next for Alliance? Aegis is about to expire in 30 seconds. Mawala naman sila makukuha ang objective sa may top lane. Masyadong malayo yung Creep Wave. For tier 2 bottom tower, medyo mahirap din para si Jarrod Captor, but now he'll be facing 4 heroes at once. The tether to connect in, trying to keep him alive. Satanic has been used, but it's not gonna be enough. Dive Scotty is available to reduce the sustain. And down goes the IO also. Now there goes S4. Stampede, hook stop, but a beautiful shot into the Supernova Sunray. Triple kill secured for the Wind Ranger. Oh no, XD. In XD, and na Ducalis. Ayun lang. Meron na natin shard, yung Phoenix. So, eto maganda to. Kapag naligo ka talaga sa Sunray, yung evasion, I mean, yung miss chance na magkakaroon sa'yo sa Sunray, malaking bagay. Hindi pa naka-indicate, no? Pero nandun siya sa bottom ng apply 2% miss chance. 
di ba? Para sa mismong description ng skill, wala pa siyang naki-indicate talaga. Hindi pa naaayos totally. Well, medyo nakakahinga pa naman dito yung uh, Luna Galaxy. And now, Crystalis will be up for the Medu. Smoke play for Luna Galaxy. So for the Jadocopters, going for MKB for his next item choice. Talaga ayon yung butterfly muna. Hard upgrade given to the Dark Dark Willow. Speaking of Dark Willow. With Hand of Midas available, nagkakaroon talaga siya ng items dito. Kasi yaman niya na yung Axe. Aether Lens is available for the Dark Willow. Hindi naman siya magka-transition into right-click build. To the point na kukuha siya ng Axe upgrade. And now, that's gonna be a Luna Galaxy making some move. Playing around dun sa vision. Sa triangle camp ng Alliance. But for Alliance, they have their own business trying to push this tier to bottom tower. This time, they don't have the Aegis, and even Jarok Cutter is not here. Available naman yung Radocate play if needed. Yep, just uh, Medusa will be pacing in front. Wala naman sila magagawa pa dyan. Isa sa maganda rin binago is yung kay Marcy na feeling ko magiging popular din yung sidekick niya naging permanent siya like kung sino yung mo na sidekick talagang magdamag lang na meron siya sidekick <laughs> yun Mes measure kayo ng lifesteal yan pero may specific range lang although para kay Marcy kahit gaano kalayo magkakaroon siya ng uh, shared lifesteal doon sa sinidekick niyang hero Mawawala lang yung sidekick kapag nilagyan niya ng sidekick yung ibang teammates niya. Yung mga ganun. Or pag namatay yata, kapag kakalam ko. Pero ang laking bagay din, no? Par like, permanent na bonus damage and then life still if ever. Or Lone Druid, di ko sure. I think na-buff naman si Lone Druid. Lalo na yung sa Spirit Bear niya, na naging universal na rin. Nagkaroon na lang sariling stats yung uh, bear. Pero starting stats niya is zero. Although universal na siya, so pwede ka na mag-itemize uh, ng mga stats item sa Spirit Bear mismo. I mean, malaking changes yun. Kasi talagang dati, more on, um, raw damage lang ibinibigay sa Lone Druid sa spirit bear niya kasi wala rin magagawa kung magbibigay sila ng stats wala na kasing stats yung mga bell mismo may sarili nga siyang ags upgrade meron din siya sarili nga shard upgrade yung uh, mismong bell wala lang cool lang ng idea na naisip nila dito so uh, medyo nag-iwasan muna dito for alliance parang nahinto yung uh, aggression nila after losing that big fight sa may triangle camp ng Luna Galaxy. And for the Medusa, he's closing in for the Daedalus. So, eto na. More damage. Itatay na lang i-out damage ng Medusa yung Jotacopter. But look how deep he is. I mean, he's alone. Trying to pull the wave. Stomp it committed. And there goes the Stomp. The Storm gonna jump in. They have the Sunlight to try and protect him. But not gonna be providing mana for the Medusa. That's why he's falling. Shad. Not gonna be able to make it. He is dead together with the axe, but Supernova is gonna be successful. They have the shackle shot together with the focus fire. Shadow Cup dropping low, and he goes down as well. 
Two big hero down for the side for both sides, but do found the Phoenix dive out instantly. But the storm still has enough mana to finish him off. Be dead. The Olicor running away. The storm doesn't have enough mana to play with right now. So Mohamed Boy namas the Olicor together with Adzantric, tama ba? Yeah, Adzantric. Pero at least nakabawi dun yung Alliance. Even though namatay yung Jarocopter, good team fight pa rin naman for Alliance. Sobrang weird ng positioning ng Medusa. I mean, ang layo niya ng time na yun. Buti nga hindi agad nag-commit ng Stampede. Kung napaagay yung Stampede dun ng Centaur, like, kinamit agad talaga nila, napatayin yung Medusa. Baka hindi umabot yung mga heroes ng uh, Luna Galaxy. Hinabol pa nila eh, nunti-unti pa nila eh. Para nag-hesitate pag gumamit ng uh, Stampede si S4. So Halberd will be the next choice para sa ating Centaur. Yeah, always a good answer up against uh, Medu or Wind Ranger. For the Storm, does have Side of Ice going for Shiva's Guard. Yeah, okay naman to. Malaking bagay din yung uh, Revenant Brooch. Which is the buff din ngayon. Kahit pa paano. Hindi na siya nakapag-provide ng attack speed. Pero ando na yung uh, plus 20% sa incoming spell. Spell damage. Malaking bagay na rin yun. Lalo na, puro... Uh, Spell damage naman yung Melanie Storm, diba? Sa Overload. But smoke play, power shot, scouting this Roshan. Uh, it's gonna be too late. Center a beautiful initiation to interrupt them. S4 gonna drop the uh, Stampede to run away from it. Nice play circus call. The Jarek Tower has been caught, but they do have enough sustain. The third rise won't connect. They have multiple BKBs, but the Tongue is available. And Jarek Tower will do fall. Down goes the Aegis. S4 running on the Twins Gate. For the second light and Jada Copter, there goes the Ayo. Another Tether used. Charlie, does he have the vessel? They have the Scaddy, but it's not gonna be enough to prevent him from healing up. And nicely done for the side of Alliance. Taking out two big cores right now on the side of Luna Galaxy. G1 has been left alone. Three dead already. Age is worth it for the side of Alliance. Nagamit agad ng Aegis, but that was a big win. Grabe, kahit naka-spirit vessel, naka-eye of Skadi. Balik pa rin, eh, no? Sa full HP yung Gyrocopter. Ah, damay pa nga si Ducalis, though he has buyback. But it's okay. Pulse head of Rax, makukuha na nga dito ng uh, Alliance. And, we'll be having a pause. Mic issue. This makes absolutely no. Yeah, Sadafrax secured for Alliance. And actually, yun na pala. Ayun yung sinasabi ko. I mean, Butterfly is a Jarocopter, diba? Kahit pa paano, magkakaroon siya ng uh, survivability up against Wind Ranger and uh, Medusa. Wala pa naman silang MKP as of the moment. Now, which is MKP na nga magiging next item ng choice. But it might be too late. Kasi sobrang laki niya ng kalamangan dito ng Alliance. And napakagandang Butterfly pick. And it's going for Disperser for the next item choice Para kahit pa paano magkaroon siya ng uh, pang escape or mobility Black Cannon Is zoning them out And look how quickly the Medusa's mana getting burned up Down to half mana already Third tower has been destroyed on middle lane Pero disengage them muna for Alliance Since uh, almost everyone is up Pat sa side ng uh, Lunar, uh, Luna Galaxy Ano yun? Mag-aags pa rin ba yung Dark Willow? 
Yeah, I think uh, going for Ags pa rin naman, yung Dark Widow dito. Though wala pa naman siya magandang attack speed aside from Hand of Midas. Maybe after getting this Ags, pwede siyang mag uh, Moonshard agad. Yan. May binago rin sa Disperser. Oh, yun. AOE na. Yung Surge. Yung panang Surge niya. Wait nga lang. Hindi ko lang kung yung Surge ba yun o oh, yun yung parang Diffusal niya. So, na yan. Um, Disperser. Disperser, where are you? Suppress. Yeah, yung AOE na is yung sa slow. Oh, AOE na rin yung sa teammates din. Yeah. Magandang upgrade. Magandang buff para sa Disperser. Kasi hindi rin siya yung naging ganong ka-popular item. Nung uh, last patch natin. He didn't get advantage for the side of Alliance and uh, continues pa rin naman sila dito in controlling the map. Farming the resources, going for MKB para sa Dark Willow. Yeah, just a way for him to deal with the Wind Danger, yun lang naman siguro yun. Wala mang evasion yung Medusa. Hindi naman siya nag uh, B fly. Talagang gusto niya ma-out damage yung... Uh, Heroes ng Alliance, yun lang naman yan. Kaya ganito yung itemization ni Shad. Well, S4 will be able to reveal them. The Storm gonna jump in, but completely out of mana for Chuan. He needs to be careful. Stampede will be committed. Another frame to make his way out. Keeper goes down. The Shackle won't connect. And there goes the Vortex into the hoop stump, into the damage. And that's it. Wind Ranger out for 70. No buyback for these two heroes on the side of Lunar Galaxy. And this might be a potential push for Alliance. They might be able to claim this set of racks and middle, but heading towards top lane since uh, ando pala yung uh, illusions ng Medusa sa may middle, cutting the wave. So top lane lang muna yung magiging uh, root for alliance. Just kill the illusions first. Disperser is available para sa gyrocopter. Storm jumps in, finds the Phoenix, hoop stomp, Phoenix down, does have his buyback, I think he needs to use this. Axe will fall, he's down for 50 seconds, they're going for the set of frags on top lane. Buyback for the Phoenix, set of frags will be secured. 36 minutes in, 24k lead, walang buyback yung Axe, so possible pan tumurecha dito yung Alliance, and the creep wave, coming in, smoke play for Alliance. Initiation for the storm. I might be waiting for it, pero nagalokit pala sila sa may bottom. Okay. Camera man. Balik natin sa may middle. Naginitiate ito si S4. Black cannon na naman for the gyrocopter. Look at the sun lane. Just getting burned down. And there goes the big spin pop by the wind range. If the storm will be to jump in all the back lines, will be able to take out the phoenix in time. Down he goes for no buyback. And there's a beautiful initiation from S4. Together with the Brambo Maze. And GG has been called. Three rows down for Luna Galaxy. Game 1 belongs to Alliance. So, uh, nice performance for Alliance. Draft-wise, uh, lumamang sila sa lane stages and ayun yung naging uh, main advantage nila dito. Sobrang ganda ng start ng alliance. Like, kumabot na tayo ng 10-0 sa pagkakaalam ko. Check natin. Hindi, wala pa. Hindi pa pala kita. Yeah, parang kumabot tayo ng ganun. Mga 10-0. Ang laki ng lead ng alliance. And uh, nahirapan yun doon na galaxy pagdating sa lane stages. Mas malakas yung lane na nakuha ng alliance dito. Yung Axe, yung parang pinaka nag-suffer. Wala siya magawa sa Gyrocopter IO. Keeper of the Light na yung kasama niya. So, wala rin siyang maitulong. And as a result, 
Sobrang free from ng Gyrocopter. Sobrang yaman. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng uh, some recovery for Luna Galaxy dahil na out position yung Gyrocopter. Pero hindi pa rin naging enough to turn this uh, game around. Yeah, dahil sa may Roshan, second Roshan, doon na talagang uh, nanalo na yung Alliance. After winning that fight, with an Aegis, nagdiretiretso na sila dito to claim this game. So, magbabalik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Be right back tayo.